Hello, my name is Karina. I am a dietetic intern from the University of Illinois at Chicago, or also known as UIC, and I am presenting today on this month's superfood, which is winter squash. So what exactly is winter squash, and how is it different than summer squash? It turns out that both winter and summer squashes are planted in early spring, but they're harvested at different times. Summer squashes like green or yellow zucchini are picked earlier than winter squashes. Winter squash can be picked as late as September or October, and they can be stored in a dry, cool place for up to three to six months. In addition, winter squashes are bigger in size and have a thicker or bumpier skin with very few exceptions. Have you ever wondered the history of squash? Probably not, but it's really interesting. Winter squash can be dated back to about 12,000 years. Experts believe they originated in Mexico or South America because squash seeds that were 10,000 years old have been found in caves in Ecuador. Winter squash have been an important crop in the United States. The Wampanoag Indians of New England frequently used this crop as part of their three sisters trio. This includes beans and corn in addition to squash. There are dozens of varieties of winter squash. Here are some of the most popular ones. These are the most consumed in the United States. Acorn squash is mildly sweet and has a nutty flavored flesh. It's often sliced in half, seeded, stuffed, and baked. Sugar pumpkins are not what kids usually carve for Halloween. Sugar pumpkins are sweet and the most commonly canned form of pumpkin. They are great in pies or desserts. Butternut squash is also known for its sweet flavor. It is very commonly used in creamy soups or in stews or casseroles. Spaghetti squash is fun to use. Once it's roasted, the thread-like flesh can be scooped out and used as an alternative to thin noodles like angel hair pasta. Kaboka squash is thought to have a savory flavored flesh. And delicata squash is easy to prepare because the skin is thin and edible. You can just slice, cook, and eat it all together. Besides its cool history and varieties, what makes winter squash a superfood? It's packed with incredibly beneficial nutrients. Squash is an excellent source of carotenoids. Carotenoids, including beta-carotene, are later converted to vitamin A by our bodies. Vitamin A is thought to help keep your immune system strong and it helps with night blindedness. Squash is also a very good source of fiber and antioxidants. The pectin found in squash can help slow down the release of sugar during digestion. I will touch a little bit more on this on the next slide. Antioxidants like vitamin C, manganese, and copper are found in winter squash. Antioxidants are substances in food that can help prevent or reduce the damage caused to our cells by oxidation that can sometimes lead to disease or cancer. Squash is also a good source of B vitamins. B vitamins are important for cell growth and help our bodies convert the food we eat into the energy we use every day. B vitamins are also important for red blood cell production. Squash is also a good source of magnesium, potassium, folate, pentothenic acid, and vitamin K. Many people believe that squash is too high in carbohydrates to eat regularly, but what experts have found is that the fiber found in squash, like pectin, helps slow down the release of sugar during digestion. This can make squash a food low on the glycemic index. The glycemic index is basically a ranking for how the carbohydrates found in food can affect our blood sugar. The lower the food is on the glycemic index, the less it affects our blood sugar. Steaming squash is the best way to keep the glycemic index low. 
but even with other preparation methods, it still falls into the low to moderate glycemic index category. So squash is a great alternative to potatoes, which are much higher on the glycemic index. Remember those antioxidants we mentioned before? Well, they play an important role in protecting our cells from damage that can lead to disease or cancer. The high potassium content in squash can help lower blood pressure, and some studies have even shown that regular squash consumption may help lower cholesterol. The seeds in winter squash can also provide a nutritional boost and are very tasty. All you have to do is scoop the seeds out, wash and dry them, and roast them for about 200 for about 20 minutes at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And don't worry about the strings too much. They should shrivel up in the oven during the cooking process. Squash seeds in general contain protein and the healthy and saturated fat that our bodies need. They are also rich in antioxidants, iron, zinc, and magnesium. Recent studies on the use of pumpkin seed oil have actually shown promising results on hair growth. Here are some easy and simple ways to include winter squash into your diet. This simple pumpkin hummus recipe combines chickpeas, pumpkin, tahini, lemon, garlic, cumin, and salt and cold water in a food processor or high speed blender. You blend until a desired consistency is reached. Enjoy this hummus with some fresh veggies or crackers. This roasted delicata squash breakfast is delicious. You preheat your oven to 425 degrees. You lay your squash on a baking pan and drizzle it with olive oil and sprinkle with salt and pepper or to your liking. You bake it for 15 to 20 minutes and then allow it to cool outside of the oven for one to two minutes. In that same pan, you arrange squash into a circular shape about four inches wide, keeping the center hollow. Keep layering the squash until you get a stack about two inches high and then repeat twice. Crack an egg into each of the three squashes towers hollow center. Put back in the oven at 425 degrees and bake another 15 minutes. Serve this hot with a sprinkle of chives or scallions or add a pinch of gran freshly ground pepper or sriracha sauce. Next is a smoky tempeh stuffed acorn squash. You preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You spray and cut the acorn squash with oil and sprinkle it with salt and pepper. You place the cut side down on a baking sheet and bake it for 20 to 30 minutes or until tender. While the squash is baking, heat a medium saucepan over medium heat. Add oil and garlic and cook for 30 seconds until fragrant. Add finely chopped tempeh and saute for two minutes. Then you add tomato paste, water, a little bit of liquid smoke and you can adjust to your liking, and soy sauce to combine. Then you remove from heat. Once the squash is cooked, add half of the tempeh mixture to each squash. Sprinkle the top with green onion and serve. Next is a pumpkin fig smoothie that is super delicious. You add banana, figs, pumpkin, almond butter, milk and ice to a blender and blend it on high until it is very smooth. You pour it into a glass and top it with hemp hearts and shake and a shake of cinnamon. You serve immediately. If you cannot find a cinnamon almond butter or you don't want to buy one for this purpose, add regular almond butter plus a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed my presentation on this superfood, winter squash. All of these fun recipes and more can be found on foodandnutrition.org. 
enjoy.